in almost all the cases we create the dynamic websites the meaning of dynamic website is that the content that is written on the HTML pages that is dynamic that is not hard-coded so in this video we will start this learning and we will understand how can we make the dynamic content on the HTML as a first step we will be learning about the interpolation in angular so here I'm going to create one more new angular application let's write a command ng new employee employee organization and hit the enter button let's open the application in the vs code editor so first I'm going to navigate to this particular folder like this and now let's open it in the vs code close the welcome page and now let's open the terminal that is inbuilt in this vs code editor so for that I can click on this part and click on this new terminal you can also use the keyboard shortcut and it is written over here now here let's run this application so I can write ng serve and o and here you can see that the application is running fine now let's go to the component.html file and this one app.component.html and let's remove everything from this place okay now we do not have anything over here on the browser and let's put everything side by side like this now i will make some changes in this app.component.html and those changes will be visible here on the right side on the browser okay so first let's quickly write some hard coded html let's say here i'm writing welcome and it is visible here on the right side now let's say i want to make something dynamic let's say here i'm writing one plus one now you can see whatever text i'm writing here on this editor that is written as it is on the browser but what if i want to calculate the sum of both these numbers then i have to use this interpolation and interpolation is basically the combination of double braces this one only this part is required for the interpolation not this one okay now whatever you will write inside this interpolation that will be calculated as an expression so if i write over here one plus one and save the changes then on the right side you can notice that we are having one plus one is equals to two this part is coming from this html this one and this two is calculated from this place it is not only limited to this simply adding and subtraction there are lots of other things that we can do with this interpolation let's say here i'm writing plus three save the changes and accordingly you can see that we are having the updates on the browser okay so this is the simplest one as you already know that in one single component file there are four files and two files of them are very important first is the html file and second is the component file and we generally write all the calculation or all the logics in the component file now what will happen if i am making any change or writing any logic in the component.ts file and i want to display those values over here in this html file then how it will work let's learn about that so let's open this component file and here we are in this app.component.ts and let's remove everything extra from this particular place let's remove this title property also so here you can notice that we only have a blank class the name is app component and we already have the component decorator the selector template urls and we have covered all these topics in previous videos now here you can see that we only have a blank component class now let's create a new variable over here and let's assign some value so here i'm writing name and the type of this name is a string and i want to assign a value like this semicolon that's it this is how we declare a variable in typescript now i want to display this name on the html file then how can i do that go to the html file and here if simply i'm writing like this save the changes then on the right side you can notice that we are having the exact text on this browser because this angular application is not calculating its value and to calculate its value we have to use the interpolation and for that we can simply use the double curly braces now if i save the changes on the right side you can notice that we are having the value that is assigned to this name variable now let's make some changes again to this particular name 
like this once you will save the changes all those changes will be reflected over here there is one more important point to learn over here it will work only with the public properties if by any chance you are writing private over here like this save the changes then you can notice we are getting an error here on the terminal window you can notice we are having an error because this name is not accessible on the html file why because we have defined its accessibility to private remember only the public variables will be visible on the html file now let's try to create very simple method over here and let's try to learn how to use those methods on the html file so let's say here i'm writing get name like this then we have to provide a colon and then we have to provide the return type to this method if we are returning an string then we can simply write a string if we are not returning anything then we can write void so here i'm returning an string value like this and then the body of this particular method now we have to return some value from this particular method and let's see here i'm writing hello from method like this and remember if you are not defining anything over here like public or private then the default visibility will be public let's try to learn how can we use this method by using the interpolation on the html file let's copy this value and go back to the html file over here let's use one more p tag and the p tag is not necessary you can write it in any html tag let's say this time i'm using h2 and to work with the interpolation we have to use the double curly braces so you can simply use shift button and write it like this and then because this is a method so we have to use this bracket over here now you can see that here on the right side we are having the value that we are returning from this get name method this is how it will work with property and the methods you can do a couple of more things in this get name and based on your logic it would work now let's say here i'm passing one parameter let's say it is data and it is of number type and here i'm writing some choice statement like if if the data is equal to one if the data is equal 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 one then i will be returning hello from method one else i will be returning hello from other value so for that i can simply use the else let's use the body statement like this and then the else hello return hello with value and let's say here i'm passing the same value that i will get data okay now because we are using this method on the html file and here we have to pass something in this particular method so if i pass one save the changes then you can notice we are getting the message from the first condition hello from method one if i will pass something else like the 11 save the changes immediately you can see we are getting the second message so this is how you can work with the methods and pass the values and display its data over here by using this interpolation it is not only limited to this property and methods let's declare an array over here let's say here i'm writing employees and here let's define few names here i'm having three items in this employees array and if i want to display its data then i can again use the interpolation so let's use the p tag and over here inside this double curly bracket i can simply write the employees save the changes and you can see we are having all three values over here on the html and as you already know that the array works with the indexes so here we can also pass the index like if i'm passing zero save the changes then you can see we are having only the first name if i pass one then i'm having the second name if i pass two then we are having the third name so this is how it works now let's say we have one object and let's get the object over here and in this object let's define few items so let's say first it is title let's say it is a software engineer then the name
let's say salary now I want to display its data on the HTML file then how can I do that so let's copy this employee text go back to the HTML file and over here let's write again the interpolation on the right side you can notice that we are having only this object object but I want to access all the properties one by one so for that you have to write the dot and then the name of your property so let's say it is title save the changes now you can see that we are having the title that we have written in the object okay now let's say I want to display the name also then I can copy it again paste here and this time let's use this name we have the value one more time for the salary also and here you can create your design as per your need so let's say here I'm writing an list and I'm writing this title like this again for the name you can see immediately we are having the corresponding design so this is the hard-coded text and this is the dynamic text cut this one also and let's write the salary this is how we can use the interpolation in multiple ways in angular application there are few more important points to learn about this interpolation let's say i'm having this name property here in this component.ts file can i define its value here in the component.html file let's try to do that so here let's say here i'm writing ppp and again i'm just displaying its value name like this save the changes you can notice that we are having an error this time because this interpolation does not work in that manner basically you can use it only for one sided this interpolation is used just to display the values you cannot assign anything over here you also cannot use the bitwise operators here you can also not create new instances like the new keyword or the type of something like that you cannot do that over here use the interpolation only when you simply have to display some value over here or you just need to work on the basic calculations let's remove this part and it will work again so this is not basically two-way binding it is only one-way binding this interpolation is also a very useful now let's get an image tag and here we have to provide the src and the alt let's say i want to get this value from the component.ts so here i can define either the new properties or can have the data in this employee object let's say i'm having it over here in this employee object so src and then the alt alt tag it is basically the profile pic and just for the image src Let's open some other website over here on this place. Use any photo. Let's say I'm using this one. Right click on this one and open a new tab. Copy the URL. Copy image link and let's just paste it over here like this and i can simply use this data on my html file how go back to the html file and here by using the interpolation like this i can define its value so it is like employee dot src save the changes and here on the right side you can see we are having this image let's use the width over here width is 100 and we are having a small image for the old as well so I can use the employee dot AFT and the old is also placed over here. So you can see in the old we are having this profile pic. This is how you can work with the interpolation in Angular. 